another video. My name is Johnny, and I'm here to explain to you this whole scene here with the bending of the steel and the Freedom Tower behind me, what this represents. This right here is a story of the perpetrators who committed this act of bringing down the two twin, twirls, twin towers of World Trade Centers in order to create the new society that we live in now, or what you would call it, a new world order. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so let's take a look at this uh, monument for 9-11. This is the actual steel that came off one of the buildings, either building one or building two. So let's just take a quick look at the steel. I mean, if you, if you start looking at it, you take a look and look how thick this is. Now there's no way jet fuel would bend something like that or melt it or anything like that. This was actually cut and uh, this was cut with a torch. So basically uh, what this steel represents right here, this thickness is the, uh, the impossibility of any kind of plane, any kind of object hitting one of these buildings and completely collapsing them. You know, here's a little bit weaker steel and you can see how thick this I-beam is. Now, to me, it seems like it could have been shaped in order to form this uh, this monument, which, which here you see a V-shape, right? So there's two pieces, it comes in the back and it's a V, you know, and, and it overlooks like the buildings there. We come around here and we have the actual monument that they created, 9-11, uh, 8:45 uh, a.m. Mayor Glenn Cunningham. Naturally, like the politicians are going to take credit for a monument like this. Like, why Glenn Cunningham would even put his name in there? Jersey City 9/11 Memorial Committee and uh, dedicated to September 11th, uh, 2002. You know, so you can see how the politicians, how politics, how the uh, existing society at the time, you know, was planning to bring down uh, these towers. You can see the two towers. I mean, I've seen them up close. I was at the top and these things are massive. They were massive. I mean, massive. And, and, and a building like that would swallow a plane. I mean, just swallow it. And, and basically uh, jet fuel or airplane fuel, aviation fuel, would have no impact uh, on, on a building like that because aviation fuel is basically diesel and, uh, and gasoline just burns itself out. Even if you put all the paper and furniture on fire in there, it still wouldn't have been enough to, uh, to melt steel like this. I mean, look at this. Look at the thickness of this steel. It, it's just virtually impossible. Steel melts at a certain temperature and what you should do is look it up. And see what steel melts at and it's and it doesn't melt at a flash rate it melts at a constant melting heat the heat has to be consistently hot all of the time excuse me for the light behind my back but here what you see here is a bent piece of steel and what this monument is telling you is how they have bent society this is the bending of society. This is the new world orders we live in today. You can see now we have, you know, mask mandates that they're telling us you can't go to a store, you can't go to a restaurant, you can't live your life unless you do what they tell you and wear a mask, you know, over a, a, a virus that doesn't exist. So then underneath it, right, hidden underneath the flag is a V shape for victory. That's what that stands for. This is the victory of the occult system looking to destroy our society with alternative societies that they're going to bring upon us within the future. We're going to, right now with COVID, they will stop mandating cards. Eventually, we'll get into a digital system where they, uh, uh, you know, you're going to walk in a store and they're going to scan you or scan your phone or scan something. And they're going to know where everybody goes, what everybody does. And basically, they're going to control every step you take. And that's that's their ultimate goal is, is to control your mind, to control you, uh, to, to bend you into what they want. Why? Uh, today, COVID is basically, in my opinion, is because, you know, Donald Trump. He won the election and uh, 
we beat you know their their queen their star hillary clinton and whoever else was up there you know like uh all, all those other guys were all beaten down because the people literally went out and voted in droves for a man that promised uh society a, a, a freedom so what you see here is you see the the steel the actual steel that was holding up our glory which was the twin towers and behind this you see what they have created for us and it's a freedom tower which this freedom tower does not represent freedom it represents oppression uh, simply because we are now being convinced that there is a virus they're oppressing us and they are bending society and shaping it into what they want and it's victorious for the occult leadership or whoever is in charge of these these idiot politicians these idiots that go to college have all these degrees that are just so stupid they don't even know how to think for themselves they want to present themselves as being intelligent and smart but in reality we all know that that's not true they're not smart at all they have no courage they don't love anybody they don't love us they've given us childless politicians childless they call them leaders but they're not really leaders they are elected representatives of a group and they're supposed to act in the people's favor not against the people's favor and basically that's what they're doing just like showing us the humility that they're taking away from america by putting in politicians like joe biden who they're calling him senile and they make fun of our politics they make fun of our presidents trump but they make but you they never make fun of other presidents uh around the world like putin he's you never hear anything bad about that guy because he's a communist because this is what we're experiencing communism bolshevism uh totalitarianism and it's coming to that you know and then here you have a, a statue of a man right that's holding flowers and you know two candle holders a teddy bear you know like they're trying to make you feel uh bad uh it's just, it's just weird i mean you know somebody put a crucifix here which i'm shocked and uh it's actually attached to it so i think this is the uh i'm not sure who this is in memory of those who lost their lives i thought this was the priest yeah okay so here's a statue that represents uh the people who died in the World Trade Center. You know, there's all these flowers. Let's see what they look like. These are supposed to be flowers, a paramedic, you know, fire department. And this is basically, this, this statue is a distraction of what this monument means right here that is overshadowing this building here that represents oppression this is the bending of society and this is victory and the only positive thing i see here is christ on the cross and that's what they're one thing they're most afraid of is uh jesus and the catholic church their ultimate goal is to destroy the catholic church and it's happening you know that's going to be the next thing where the, the entire church collapses and there won't be any more leadership within Christianity like Christ set up. It'll be a, uh, a free-for-all for, for Christianity. And, uh, and, and Catholicism will be mocked forever. And that's the uh, revelations. But guys, let me know what you think about uh, this video, what I had to say. And um, I wish you guys peace and prosperity in these times that are going to come with these uh, ins insane politicians who who lie to us every single time when they run for office in order to get benefits and get paid, make millions of dollars like Obama. He went in uh, as president as a poor man and came out $80 million richer. You know, like what politician is supposed to go into politics poor and come out rich? 
you know, where you have a president like Donald Trump, he went in rich and he came out poorer, and they want to take that guy down. Uh, but then again, you know, I'm not saying that what Donald Trump did was all 100% correct. But this right here, my friends, is uh, a bad thing. The Twin Towers represented something that they didn't like. They took it down and they put up one tower. And then this is the story. They bent society and it was a victory for them to take down the Twin Towers. So take care, peace out, and I'll see you guys again on the next video.